Chief Wiggum, can you drive me to school? It's an emergency. Uh, no can do, dollface. I got an informant wearing a wire. <laughs> Just like on Nash Bridges. We're trying to get the goods on some smugglers. Why, I'd be delighted to sell you some illegally smuggled goods. That sounds like Fat Tony. Mm, only one way to be sure. Fat Tony, is that you? Fat Tony? Hey, where's that voice coming from? This guy's wearing a wire. Take him out. I'd like to withdraw my life savings, please. And hurry! Uh, sir, this is a joint account. Uh, you'll need your wife's signature, too. Oh! Yes, of course. Yeah, uh, she's behind that plan. Hello, Marge. Hi, homie. Sign this, please. You're the boss. Daddy, ask the man for some candy. No, no, no candy for you. Then at least get some candy for yourself. <laughs> Kids. Hey, Flanders, heading for church? Well, I thought I could save you a little time. Ooh, found a new shortcut. Better. I was working on a flat tax proposal, and I accidentally proved there's no God. We'll just see about that. Uh-oh. Well, maybe he made a mistake. Nope. It's airtight. Can't let this little doozy get out. Come on, why won't you go out with Bart? He's a smelly, ugly dork. Please, ugly is such a smelly word. Who would you rather go out with? Tommy. Well, duh. She's breathtaking, but Bart has inner beauty, like you'd find in a rodent. <laughs> and face it, you're no prize either. You wear braces, you dress like a kid, and you're not getting any younger. Take what you can get. He's right. Grab something and don't let go. Well, Bart's not so bad. What is it, Nagongo? Evil is coming. What shall we do, Nagongo? Uh, you are Nagongo now! Hey! They're throwing robots! They are throwing robots. Is this respecting us? Shut up, you face! Shut up. Your face. What's the matter, you? You ain't so big. Me and him are gonna whack you in the Labanza. Mm, uh, bad grammar overload. Error. Error. old folks talent show now get washed up with pleasure <laughs> Christopher Watkins reading good night moon good night room good night moon good night cow jumping over the moon <laughs> please children scooch closer don't make me tell you again about the scooching you and the red chop chop hmm <laughs> you haven't set aside anything for the future. Oh, you know how it is with cops. I'll get shot three days before retirement. In the business, we call it retirey. What if you don't get shot? What a terrible thing to say. <laughs> now, look, you made my wife cry. <laughs> Television broken? No, there's a badger in there. Badger, my ass. It's probably Millhouse. Millhouse! Millhouse! <laughs> It's a badger, all right. Or possibly a griffin. Bart, you have any dynamite in your room? Tons. Get it. No, Dad. We don't want to kill him. Let's call animal control. Great idea. Then we should call a doctor about this. How did the badger do that without ripping your shirt? What am I, a tailor? I know. Just discuss heavenly matters. So how's Maud Flanders doing up there? Is she playing the field? <laughs> 
Ooh, yeah, really? All those guys? Amen. Stop your chattering and scream! <laughs> this house is filthy! So what do you care? It's not like you have friends. I have a boyfriend! <laughs> yeah, sure. Right. What? I do! Oh, yeah? What's his name? Uh, George! Cauldron! George Cauldron? Maybe he can fix me up with Ed Ladle. <laughs> and I think that's a stagehand. And I love you, too. I am you, and you are you. Oh, you and me, together you can see. <laughs> Next time, get a DVD. This is a DVD. Oh. <clears throat> Whoa. I better put on the silencer. You know what would be good with these? Is some Ms. Butterworth. Let's have a breakfast meeting. Ew, how long has this baking soda been in here? I don't know. It came with the house. Hey, Dad, bet you five bucks you can't eat the whole box. Why? Why don't we make it 50? Oh, you're gonna regret this. I'll call Poison Control. Fran, it's me. Just a heads up. Wow. The absorbed odors of a million meals. Oh, oh, so many flavors. All those tasty memories flooding back. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. Therefore, I shall resign the presidency. And one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. <laughs> now, pretend I'm a baby. <laughs> Me like to explore. That's a pretty big caboose for a baby. Oh my, don't be. Wow, that is huge. <laughs> Ooh, pretty colors. Me wanna drink. <laughs> oh. She got it open. You see how quickly your baby could have been drinking this Similac baby formula? No! Oh, Dr. Screw Little sounded like a delightful romp. Well, you don't have to worry about the bill. We've never welched on a... Look, a bear! Run! I need this candy for school. Candy class. Well, okay, but get five bags in case we eat four on the way home. My teacher said I need cupcakes. Cupcakes to learn. In the cart. Ugh, I'm out of wine. Cart. <laughs> we need these because we have to... My doctor says and my garage mechanic agrees that... In the cart. Woohoo! You know, I always felt sorry for Marge having to do the shopping, but this is kind of fun. Mm, everyone's having fun but me. Mrs. Simpson, can Homer come out and play? Now, Homer won't be able to play for a long time. Mm, could you make me some jello? You show, Barney Gumble. Kids, you're gonna miss the school bus. <gasps> it's only two blocks away. <laughs> Spit on the bus. <laughs> uh, Mom. Not now, Lisa. Chew, chew, chew. Swallow, swallow, swallow. Aw, <laughs> oh, darn. Looks like we'll have to stay home today. Not on my watch. What a drag! Yeah! <gasps> I'm not racing! It's me, Marge Simpson! No, you eat my dust! <laughs>
us. Now hurry up and get on. But, Mom, the school's right here. I won. Don't take that away from me.